What is up guys, Jesus Messi here and welcome to episode 3 of Trading Challenge. Um, basically on the screen now is some pre-recorded footage and then I'm going to go on to uh, like live footage of the stuff I've sold. So uh, it's going to be a longer episode for you guys and as you can see I just bought Terrapt for 30k bin as at the lowest yesterday. Um, and so yeah that's uh, Terrapt done so I'm now moving on to Ivanovic. So um, his average is about 50k so here's me on the web app just trying to uh, like I send all the stuff to the trade pile that I bought so that means I could get more trading done and I get the profit quicker so I don't know why I keep zooming in like that it's quite annoying but um, yeah I got a fair few decent deals actually I, I was filtering out what I could get um, the price for I got a Livermore a uh, I think it's white uh, the Leeds uh, centre left back that's the one <laughs> um, yeah I got a C2 as well I was trading some bronzes as uh, it's quite hard to trade when you got um, like less money obviously but I also got a Russell there for 4.2k in 4.1212. Uh, eventually sold as well. So this is uh, the method I'm going to show you uh, like this episode. And it's basically, I'm going to call it the common sense method. Um, basically, you just have to choose one player and filter out like the minimum um, and the maximum prices they go for. So like, uh, the, I typed in like the, the lowest buy now of Samir Nasri of Man City. And basically, I, I just uh, went down and the, the lowest buy now I think was 11k or 10. So I just went along and just added every single one to the watch list that was below like 10k. Just so that then you won't, once you win them on bid, there's obviously some exceptions. Like if you're in 4 on 2 on 2, you obviously get more out of them as the uh, price is a lot more because the formation is like 7k on its own. So uh, there's obviously exceptions like that, but make sure to like. It, that, the reason is common sense is just because on one is no like real technique to doing it. Just you have to find one player to do it with. But I would usually go with a more expensive player. So um, here's the players I got: it's Suarez, um, the centre mid for Celtic for 650 coins. Uh, Diego Cavalieri 433 for 700. Um, I hope to get about three out of him. And then I got a Fahey, I believe that's how you say his name, 4 on 2 I might convert it to a cow, I'm not sure, if he doesn't sell. And I, I should be able to get 4k out of him. Fritz I got for uh, 500 coins. And then Douglas I got for 400. So uh, I'm hoping to make some decent profit on all of them. Um, so guys, this could be like a, like a random screen. It might like uh, train to Ivanovic or something. Just uh, so I can just like lead off onto the next bit, guys. So um, yeah, I'll speak to you in a minute uh, where I'm going to talk about what I've sold. So guys, I am back and uh, let's see what is sold. There's 12 things that have actually gone. Uh, I started off on 6k trading. Uh, that's how much I had left after buying to wrap. So um, it's pretty decent because I've still got, uh, I've still got about f two or three things to sell now. So uh, the slew I bought for 3k last episode is actually sold for 7.1. About 4k profit there, which is not bad at all really. Uh, Vucinic in form sold for 13k. Uh, I actually sold these before I got... Um, uh, adult to wrapped because uh, obviously I can't just do that without him. Uh, I couldn't have bought him otherwise. So uh, white I got for I think it was uh, 600 coins actually. So 2.2k. That's a pretty nice deal there. Um, Matt Taylor sold for 2.3k instantly, which I was very surprised about. So I got him for 650 coins, I believe it was. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's right, but it was under a k. Uh, I was only expecting to get about one half k out of him, and I'm surprised this price is still that high. Um, C2 actually sold for 5.2k, a very nice deal there. I got it for 950 coins. So bronze Premiership players, guys, are a great thing to trade with. Um, I haven't actually made a loss on any of them yet. Uh, Diego Cavalieri sold for 2.9k. Uh, that was apparently interesting as, interesting as well. Um, I got it for 700 coins, so it's about 2k profit. Um, Suarez 4.42 ST. I got it for 7.1, sold for 8.9. Not as much as I was hoping for, but there seemed to be a lot more on the market the day after I got him. Um, Fritz sold for 1.8. Eight, yeah, 1.8, and I got him for 500. So again, a 1.3k profit. That is how to start, guys. If you've got no coins, basically just go for silvers and look for their pace, their formation, and their league. Um, and also nationality, that, that helps a lot as well. Uh, Henley, I got it for 200 coins, sold for 850. Again, it just helps along the way. Juarez um, or Jarez, I don't know how you say his name. I call it like a Mexican. Um, 1,500 he sold for. I got him for 650. So again, about like, just under a k profit. And then we're moving on to Russell. He sold for 6.3. Um, I'm not sure if someone's converted him. No, they haven't. But yeah, it's a very, uh, about 2k profit on him. And then Jake Livermore sold for 2.9k. So overall, uh, not too bad really. Uh, I got him for under a k, or actually, no, I think it was like 1.5. So again, double my coins on him. Uh, I've still got Fahi and Douglas to sell, but once they sell, I believe I'll be on about uh, 18 or 19k, which would be very nice. Um, I'm quite. Look I'm looking forward to doing this series more, guys. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying training, but at the moment it is getting a bit harder because uh, the market drop and everything like that. Um, 
like informed players uh, now I now I should have enough money to trade with some informed players which would be very nice and a lot easier to get that money quickly so advantage is about 40 to 50k we are on about 18 or 19 so halfway there so I should have a advantage done by the end of the week as well guys so if you can uh, if you enjoy this series so far please drop a like please subscribe to see more and I hope you enjoy this video yeah guys uh, I know I just ended the video but I just want to say um, go subscribe to Militant Monkey he's just been hacked on um, FIFA 12 this morning uh, he let, got left with two coins which is um, uh, very like annoying uh, the fact that they tried to improve the security but they didn't um, there's many tweets this morning who's streaming it and there's about 400 people in there people like uh, Jack54HD and Mr. Rossi1990 they were all in there um, and we were all tweeting um, like Rob Hogshan uh, just saying that this is like just getting too far now how people are still getting hacked even though they said that the security thing was going to improve it so guys uh, make sure to drop him a sub I'm also going to give a shout out to Bray HD FIFA as he will probably moan at me for not giving one <laughs> so yeah guys go. I'll put them, them in the uh, annotations on the screen guys so uh, make sure to go check them out and again thank you for watching the video